Hello there. In this video I wanted to show you uh, and, and really tell you about the uh, file versioning protection that's in the Underlead software. Basically this means that if you're working with Microsoft Office documents like Word or Excel or PowerPoint, straight out of the box the Underlead software will actually keep several versions of the same file. Very helpful if you accidentally overwrite a file with the same file name or if you uh, make a bunch of changes to a file and then save it and then think ah I didn't want to save that I've just actually removed some stuff that I wanted to keep from that file well you have by default five versions of that same file um, so let's let's show that on the desktop here I have my important report document <laughs> Let's open that up, and this is actually is a, a report document that I've, I've written previously, and it contains lots of good content. Um, so let's say, um, actually, I I don't want this information anymore from from here on. So in fact, let's, yeah, don't need the video in there anymore. Let's let's get rid of that. Okay, that's good, and then we'll save that. And then, um, oh, wait, no, that edit that I've just done, I didn't, oh, I, I shouldn't have got rid of that video. I, I wanted it to be embedded in that Word document, but now I've saved it. So, you know, I can't just close it and open it again because that data's not there. It's, it's been removed. I removed it and then saved the file. Oops. So this is where the versioning becomes very handy. I can open up the recovery bin and I know the file was on my desktop. You can use the search recovery bin to find files but I'm going to save that for uh, another video to go through all the search functions. So let's go straight to my desktop. Now you'll see here, my here's my important report document but it's got three copies, three versions of that same file that have been saved. Now I can right click on them and I can simply recover all three versions if I want to and they'll just give them a, a different number at the end of the file name when it uh, recovers them for you. Um, or I can view the copies. So I can see I've got three different versions here and I can see of course they all have the same file name. I can see their file sizes. I can see what date they were overwritten and time, um, when they were last modified who overwrote them and on which machine. So S. Alley is my username, Spencer Allingham, and who owns the files. So if I want to have a, a quick look and find the version I want before I recover at one of those three, I want to make sure I get the right one, I can just simply double click them and open them up straight from the bin and have a look. So that's not the version that I want. That was the one I was playing with earlier, although it does have the video in. So let's have a look at this version. Well, actually, that looks pretty good. And it has the video in. Perfect. So I'm going to recover that version. That's the one that I want. So I say recover that. Recover it back to the original location. But I could recover it to some other folder if I wanted to. We'll say OK. Close off our undelete recovery bin. And now our important report document is restored. That version has been put back for you. So let's open that up and just double check it. Is our video embedded back in there? Yes, it is. So handy feature when you're working with things like Microsoft Office documents. I mean, we've all done it at some point, accidentally overwritten a file or, or modified it in such a way or deleted a chunk of data and then hit save before perhaps we should have done. <laughs> But anyway, let's have a, a quick look at the settings that you can modify quite a bit, actually. So if we go into the settings tab on the ribbon and then go into properties, you can see here we have a versions tab. And this is where the versioning is, is configured. So you can say enable or disable the saving of file versions. So you can turn it off if it's something that doesn't interest you and, and isn't going to work for you. You can say limit the file to 
n number of versions so by default it's five versions i believe uh, but you can increase that if you wanted more versions very easily and just hit apply now you can see the file types that it will say versions of by default so it's word documents powerpoint documents and excel spreadsheets but let's say I'm a, a graphic designer and I'm working with Photoshop all day long and I'm not really making Word documents or PowerPoint files. Well, I can add things like Photoshop PSD files to the list. We, we do have a list of other um, file types already there that you can just simply move across and say, if I'm a web designer, for example, I want, I want these file extensions to have versions. It's that easy. But let's say I'm, I'm working with Photoshop and I want uh, my PSD files versioned. I can say .psd, it's my custom file type, and I can add that too. So now I can have different versions of PSD files. Or let's say I'm working with Adobe PDF documents. Yeah, easy to add those as well. If there's something in there which I know I don't really want versioning turned on, I can remove them. Simple as that. So it's quite configurable to, to set up for what is appropriate for you. What do you want to have versioning on and what do you not want to have it on? Simple as that, really. So, yeah, I, I hope that helps. I hope it's useful. Um, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.